Hey guys, it's your girl Sion Charles back with another video and for those of you guys who are new, welcome to my channel. Today I'll be switching things up with a nail video. I know that some of us are excited that fall is here, so if you guys want to see how I practice this black ombre set on myself, then keep on watching. Alright, so I'm going to start off with my cuticles and I'm going to be using my tool to push my cuticles back and the dead skin. sanding band I'm going to be using a medium grip uh, band and I'm going to be just taking off the shine and when I'm sanding my nails I'm just doing it very lightly I don't want to leave any dents in my nails when it's time to take off my nails to do this part but I'm just going to cut and file my nails. Today I'm going to be using natural nail tips and I got these nail tips from my local nail supply store. And I'm going to be using this hypoallergenic nail glue. I personally am not allergic but I've gotten great reviews on it. I'm going to measure and then glue on my nail tips. When measuring, I make sure that my nail tip hits both side walls of my nail. When gluing down, I typically hold it for about 10 to 15 seconds. Once my nails are all glued down, I'm going to use a nail former to measure out my nails and then mark to cut.
Now I'm going to go in with my nail clippers to cut away the excess nail so I can get the shape that I want. And I'm going to be going for an almond shape. Now I'm going to use my nail file and I believe this one is a 100-100 nail file and I'm just shaping them. OKM acrylic nail powder, liquid nail monomer, size 10 nail brush, and my nail dehydrator and primer, of course, are both from my local nail supply store. I put a nail dehydrator on so that way it picks up the oils and then I go in with a primer so that way the acrylic has a strong base. Not everyone has to do this step but I like to do it. I'm just going to apply a light layer of clear acrylic powder on my nail bed.
acrylic powder that I'm using. It's this black one that I got from my local nail supply store. It is in the shade number one. And I'm just going to apply a small bead on the tip of my nail and I'm just going to work it downwards because I'm doing an ombre effect. And you want to make sure that you're kind of fading it down so that way it's almost fading into nothing. And if you do get a little black um, too far down, you could go in with the nail monomer and just clean it up. I forgot that I was not doing an ombre on all of my fingers, so this is just a little mix up. But I'm just going to go ahead and completely cover um, my ring finger and my middle finger. I'm going to do a different design on those two. So I'm just going to go in with another OKM acrylic powder and this was actually an ombre set that I got and I'm going to go in with the nude powder and I'm just going to ombre out my black. Going in with the, another OKM acrylic powder and this is in French white and I'm going to just pick up a small bead and put that bead at the bottom of my middle finger and I'm just going to lightly push it up to create um, a marble effect 
and then I'm just going to use more liquid monomer to just disperse that and kind of fade it out a little bit. So I'm going to use these gold leaves and I actually purchased this off Amazon and it came like a hundred sheets and they were like five by five so it's a lot and I'm not going to be wasting um, any of this. So I'm just going to use my cuticle tool and the end of my Disney brush and I'm just going to pick off little pieces of gold and I'm going to go ahead and apply that to my nail. And I did not have a specific design in mind so I'm just laying it around the edges of my nail so that way it kind of borders it. Once that's all done, I'm going to go ahead and just put a clear coat of acrylic powder on top to encapsulate everything so when it's time to file, I'm not filing down the color. going to go back in with my file to reshape and make sure that the lines are nice and smooth.
and I'm gonna use a coarse band to sand down my nails, the acrylic part. And I'm just gonna make sure that I get really close to my cuticle so that way I have that little separation and I can see where my nail is, where my cuticle starts, and where the acrylic uh, nail starts. And um, I'm also going to file the top so that way it's nice and smooth and it kind of goes downwards to the tip. Going in with my buffer, I'm just going to buff out my nails to make sure that there's no lines from when I was drilling and that way we can have a nice smooth surface when we put on our gel top coat. And I'm going to go in with my K-Gel by Kimmy Silk Off top coat and I'm going to go ahead and put on one coat on top and then put it in to cure for about a minute and a half. And we're done this is the final product so I hope you guys all enjoyed my video and I'll see you guys in my next video until next time bye